As we continue our Cross River adventure, Ogoja was our next pit stop. The lush vegetation spawned all across our route to the various local government area, spell rich endowment this state rests on. It will take us a century to document the natural diversity of trees, flowers and plants nurtured so perfectly in the hinterlands and rural areas of the various local government area we visited or travelled by. Ogoja local government area is a treasure trove of ancient traditions and folklore. Dating back to pre-colonial times, Ogoja was one of the oldest provinces in Nigeria, even before the country gained independence. The region is home to a diverse range of ethnicities, including Ishibori, which comprises different clans such as Umuria, Ikaptang, Ikajo, Ishinyema, Ikariku, and Imerakom. The central town of Igoli and the Mbube tribe, with its many villages such as Odajie, Adagum, Ekumtak, Idum, and Nkim, add to the region's cultural tapestry. Uh, we are the indigenous of the land. So uh, our forefathers uh, come from where we call Nkimtal. Yeah, Nkimtal is originated uh, from Cameroon. They came here during the time of war, in that, in, in the, in our, during our forefathers' time. Okay. When they came, there are other people that were here. And uh, during that war, they were driven out of the land. Then we became the original owners of the land, Ogoja. Yeah. Unlike Van de Kia, Obudu, the Bekwara, and the various ethnicities of Ogoja local government area have high language mutual intelligibility. A lot of words are simply pronounced differently but intelligible to the neighbors. They understand ourselves and surely, you know, Shibori, Afriki, all of them again, one as the one. Their commonalities are not only in their languages but in their customs, cultures, and traditions. The connection is established. These people have a singular originator despite the ethnic differences. Intermarriages are commonplace. They go to the same markets, celebrate each other's festivals. This normally takes place on the 15th of September. In these festivals, Ogoju's cultural heritage is displayed featuring age great wrestling, dancing competitions, football games, storytelling, and beauty pageants. One of the major traditions we have here, like the New Year Festival, uh, it comes in every 15 September. 15 September, and that involves uh, wrestling, uh, that's wrestling competition, dancing competition, best uh, storyteller, that football and uh, any other varieties. Folklore has it that Ogoja's forefathers lived in a dense forest in Nkimto in present-day Cameroon and during a hunting expedition they stumbled upon a place called Ishibori. That place was known for its clay soil. A tribal war ensued among the people of Kamosha, Ikamtak, Ikajo and Umuruya communities and eventually the forefathers settled in Ishibori. We, the people of Ishibori, came from Ikemtal to this Ishibori. The hunters okay. were the people that discovered that uh, Ikemtal they were staying somewhere, mm -hmm. and as a hunter, as they were hunting, they decided to go and stay at Nkemta. One person went, this next person went, then they became a village there before they left that Nkemta to this 
particular place, Ishiburi. The, this clay that they used to make, they use and make uh, native pots. That is number one thing they discovered. Okay. So that make them to come to this very place. And those ancient days we were the best people that were uh, manufacturing uh, these local pots. pots. The various ethnicities of Ogoja local government area are the Ishibori, with subgroups like the Umuria, Ikaptan, Ikajor, Ishinyema, Ikariku, and Imerakom. The Mbube also has extensions of Odaje, Adagum, Ekumtak, Idum, and Nkim. These ethnic groups and subgroups all have mutually intelligible languages. Another connection is established here. Language is the key connector of people. It signifies deep root alignment with the folklore and historicity of a people. It dictates the backbone of the custom and way of life of a people. Nothing brings you closer to a culture than when you understand their language. The thief of Vandekia and the Obudu Bekwara of Cross River defies the connection common with people of proximal indigenous cohabitation. Their languages have zero mutual intelligibility. This is absolutely fascinating. How do you live so close yet have zero language connection? There is bound to have been migration at some point in their history. Their customs, be it marital, cuisine or folklore, have no commonality. This is particularly striking to say the least. These people untick all the boxes of what binds an ethnicity or sometimes even tribe. Bearing in mind, folklore has it that the thief migrated from present-day Congo. This could be the disconnection between the neighbors. Throughout history, humans have migrated medieval people migrated in search for food water and arable land whilst contemporary human travel for greener pasture in way of industrialization technological advancement and other physical development We briefly stopped at Bekwara local government area, located in the northern part of Cross River State. Bekwara is both the language of the people and the name of the ethnic group. Just like in the other places we visited, farming is the mainstay of the Bekwara people, cultivating crops like yam, cassava and maize. Interestingly enough, despite our brief pit stop, we met a lovely lady, Confidence, who enlightened us about the language multiplicities of the local government area. Well, I hear the Kwa language as a general, and I hear my language also, which is African language. The Kwara language is the lingua franca of the local government area, but the indigenous do have their own languages. However, Bekwara has subsumed the local languages. Good morning, Africa is Anyumo, while in Bikora local government as general is Oma, Omuka, Nyanfuke, stuff like that. Confidence own language is Afrike. In a language, good morning is Anyumo, whilst in Bekwara it is Oma. In Africa again, come is Be, go, is J, whilst in Bekwara, come is Be and go is Ye, so the difference being the J and the Y. 
Okay, in Africa, com is B and Y go is J. Then in Bekwara local government generally, we have com here is B. It's the same thing, sound, but go is Y. Maybe tum B or tum Y. That was in Bekwara local government generally. A connection is thus established. It can be argued that these people are from a singular originator. Language is what binds the people, is what shows their history, where they come from, how the traditions and culture are connected. That's why we're here to understand what is the connection between the local languages of people within proximal cohabitation. The Bekwara, which is the name of the local government area and also the name of the ethnic group and also again, the language. There are other small ethnic group and sub-ethnic groups in Bekwara language. These small groups all have their own languages, but there are high mutual intelligibility in those languages. Thus, everyone speaks the Bekwara language, making it the lingua franca. A connection is thus established here. Next, we arrived at Obaleku local government area, home to the famous Obudu cattle ranch. The ranch was developed in 1951 by M. McCaffrey, who first explored the mountain ranges in 1949. Since 2005, Visitors can enjoy a scenic view of the mountain whilst bypassing the extremely winding road to the top by taking a cable car that ascends 870 meters from the base to the top of the plateau. However, the cable car has not been operational in recent times as a result of mismanagement, very typical of Nigeria. In Obaleku, we visited Banana Village, known for its high production of bananas. The bananas were big, ripe and surprisingly cheap. We also visited Bebuabong, Ubang and New Jerusalem communities in Obudu. This is the old United African Company building established in 1879. It used to be operational many years ago in Ikam. It was our first stop entering the local government area. Eager to take in the natural site, we visited the Ikam River also known as the UAC River. The river used to be a trade route to Cameroon through Ebony State. However, it lost prominence since the USC folded operations. In Obudu local government area, the similitude continues. Diverse ethnicities and languages, rich in culture, endowed with lush vegetation resting along the belt of coastal West Central Africa rainforest. Obudu local government area is bordered by Vandekia local government area in Benue State to the north and Boki and Bekwara local government areas to the south and west. To the east lies the Republic of Cameroon. The dominant ethnic group in Obudu is the better people with other ethnic minorities, including Upe, Ubang, Alege, and Utuguang. The name Obudu itself means shade, a fitting name for a land surrounded by the lush vegetation of the Cross River region. Obudu, oh. being the name given to this community, All right. the area, from the ancient days, the name signifies a shade. Eh? Okay, it's shade. It's shade where sit. Whilst all five ethnicities in Obudu share a common ancestry, 
they speak different languages with high mutual intelligibility. The Ubang people, in fact, have two separate languages for men and women. Our language is one. Though the entire Ubuntu is comprised of 10 words, and one of the words is Alege Uban. That one just speak different language. In that very word, Alege Uban, Ufambe, women speak different and men speak different. But they understand themselves in Obudo local government. You go to the Otuwa area, they speak different language from Ukwe and Bete. In Bete here, we have five words that speak one language. The only community in the world where men and women speak different languages. Ubang, as I told you, is a clan in Obudu. We have a separate identity. We have neighbors on the west by Boki and Boki local government. We share boundaries with the people in Ogoja. We share boundaries with people in Ukwe, Alege. So our dialect is truly identified in two ways, the female and the male. When you want to call goat, yes. the, go the women call goat. The Beite people who cover five worlds are believed to have migrated from present day Cameroon. According to folklore, all the ethnic groups in Obudu, Bekwara, and Yala, including the Igede people of Benue and some part of Cross River State, are said to have been of one family who migrated from Cameroon. Their grandfather is known as Abba, hence the names like Obudu Abba, Bekwara Abba, and Igedaba. The Obudu people, the Bekwara people, Igedia too, in Benue, we used to call what we call, have what we call Obudu Abba, Igedia Abba. Mm -hmm. That is our great grandfather. We migrated from the Cameroon side. When we came, the Obudu people settled. Bakwara continued to migrate. And they settled where Bakwara people are now in yeah, the Kosha. They are on Bakwara local government. Yes. Then they continue to migrate again to where you have Igidi. Mm -hmm. Igidi is in Benue their common ancestry is affirmed by the mutual intelligibility in their languages. The five ethnicities in Obudu local government area understand each other's languages and share many similar cultural traditions, such as the New Yam Festival, which takes place every first Saturday in the month of September. During the festival, every family goes to the farm harvest yams and pounds them to prepare melon cake, which they share with neighbors and friends. We have a, a, a festival here okay. known as uh, New Yam Festival. On that New Yam Festival, we perform all our traditional rites. Wow. And the tradition here is not ritual. It's physical things. You make baked melon cake yeah. during the New Yam Festival as our tradition. Wow. That is a major thing. During the New Year festival, you bake melon cake. Wow. Then you must, uh, the, the New Year, you harvest the New Year, mm -hmm. pan it, share to people living within uh, the, your environment. Mm. You share with other people. Then palm wine is part, part of our traditional um, things here yeah, within that period. Then people gather together within the New Year festival and share the melon cake. Even strangers normally travel from other states wow. within that. And it's always first Saturday of September. Relationships are highly valued in a Buddha local government area, with the people prioritizing connections over bright price. Anyone can get married for as low as 5,000 naira, and marrying a daughter 
of the community is a sure way to be accepted as one of their own, regardless of background. Over the local government, the cost of marriage is not all that high. Wow. They only believe on because you can when when you intend to marry from here, even if you are not from here, yeah. the the bride price, they may ask you to even pay five thousand naira as bride price. Wow. What they only need here is a relationship, the cordial relationship, yeah. future relationship with the family. Okay. But once you marry from here, you become the part of the family. The man becomes the part, uh, part of that family. Wow. So the price here is not all that high. Then the traditional marriage itself is just to buy drinks and other things. Okay. The process is, is good, mainly on drinks. Yes. If you talk about money, uh, money aspect, it's not high here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can even pay 5000 at the right price, wow. even if you are not from here. When it comes to cuisine, Obudu is known for its delicious melon cake and pounded yam. So if you are a foodie looking to explore new foods or simply seeking to experience the warmth and diversity of Nigeria's Cross River region, Obudu is a must-visit destination. In Obudu local government area, the main ethnic group here are the Beta people, with all the smaller ethnic groups like the Ukwe, Ubang, Alege, and Utuguang. Their languages, however, have a low mutual intelligibility. Still, a connection is established. But given the low mutual intelligibility of the languages, a further study is required to discern where that divergence stems from. It is believed, no matter how small the language intelligibility is, it still infer some kind of connection somewhere. <laughs>